Alrighty guys, welcome to another sweet tutorial and in this video let's go ahead and check out what we got to do next. So this is our game and if we press left and right he can move left and right but check it out. I'm pressing left and he looks like he's doing like a, you know like a fake moonwalk or something. So it would be really convenient if whenever I pressed left on my keyboard he actually turned left. You know that's uh, what the player is probably expecting so let's learn how to do that right now. So the first thing I want to do is on this layout, I want to double click it and just insert a keyboard object, keyboard right here and hit insert. And that pretty much ensures that the user can use all the keys on their keyboard in the game. So d by default, you, you saw that I can press left and right, but just to ensure that all the keyboard um, keys are being detected, you always want to do that. So another thing that I want to do is now that our game can recognize all keyboard input let's go ahead and basically what we're going to do is this whenever our player or excuse me whenever the dude who's playing the game presses left we want the exact same animation to occur but we want him to look left so you guys might be thinking alright that's gonna suck because we have to import another sprite sheet but this one we have to flip it and make it left well, not exactly. There's actually a built-in function in Construct 2 to make a mirrored object. In other words, use the same animation, but just say, face the other way. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. In the event sheet, what we're going to do is we're going to add an event. And this is actually going to be a keyboard event. And we want to hit on key pressed. So basically, this is going to say when the user presses a key, and now you have to say, well, what key do you want to detect? And if you hit click to choose, and you can actually just press the left key on your keyboard, and it's automatically going to um, fill this in for you. Hit OK, and then you just go ahead and hit Done. Basically, this is saying is whenever the user presses the left arrow on their keyboard, and then we need to tell it what we want to occur. So in the action, just press OK. And the action that we want to occur is this. If you double, well, what we basically want to do is make the player look left. So again, the object we want to affect is the player. Now under appearance, there's this cool little function called set mirrored. Now double click that. And for the state, we're just going to leave that as mirrored and click done. So pretty much we're going to say, whenever we press the left key on our keyboard, take this player and set him mirrored to where he was before. In other words, if he was looking right, make him look left. So now if we actually run the game right now, this is his default animation. I'm going to press left. He looks left. I'm going to press right. Okay, nothing ha is happening. And the reason for that is basically the logic says start him out looking right. When we press the left arrow, make him look left. But we didn't tell the game when we press the right arrow again to make them look back in the default direction. So in order to do that, it's actually really easy. We need to add another keyboard event on key pressed. Highlight this and hit right on your keyboard. Hit OK and done. Basically saying now when the user hits the right area, or excuse me, the right arrow, I don't know why I said area, what action do you want to occur? Well, just like before, player and under appearance, we actually want to click set mirrored again but instead of uh, using this as mirrored which means um, pretty much the opposite of the original we'll just put not mirrored which pretty much means back to the original animation so click done and now check it out I'm gonna play the game this is the original animation whenever I hit left he looks left whenever I hit right he goes back to the original position or the original animation so pretty freaking cool. That's how we get our player to turn left and right. Again, once you understand the basics of events, it's actually really easy. And um, in the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to add more animations for the same player. Again, it's actually really easy once you understand the core concepts. So th uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions, ask me on my forum, buckysroom.org.org slash forum can't seem to talk today. But anyways, I'll shut up now. And uh, well, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video.